Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Love and Lux. Today we're going to do a video that's going to go more in detail about the her back zip. Um, I showed it in my last video, which was my first video, and I didn't realize that I was standing so far back that you couldn't really see it. In fact, um, the background is different because I'm sitting on the floor. In front of some of my bags you can see them in the background so of course obviously in my future videos you're going to see some of these bags some of the other bags that you can't see that are across the room and so let's just get started with the video i'm not going to do an outfit of the day because i think it's going to take me a minute to go to the through the bag i'm not only going to show the bag in detail but i'm also going to do a what's in my bag and you guys can see what's in my handbag today Actually, what's in my handbag every day because I usually carry the same old thing all the time. And I know a lot of people do that. But I will at least go over what I'm wearing. So my jeans are just um, 501s. They're like, a, they're like a straight leg. It's not um, a boot cut or anything. I don't have any shoes on, so I'm just in the house. I'm wearing a Versace sweater. Um, the jeans I ordered from the Levi's website. Um, the shirt I got um, in the Versace store. Um a while back the earrings are also versace i ordered these on the versace website probably about a year or two ago maybe last year actually they're super big they're heavy um they're heavy to the point to where i wouldn't wear them all day i'd probably wear them i'd probably feel comfortable wearing them for about three or four hours and then i'd want to take them off and these are it so you got the v at the top let me see if i can get closer you got the V at the top and then you got the little Medusa head at the bottom. Um, I have one earring in right here. I have earrings going all the way up both sides, but I'm just not wearing them right now. Um, my lipstick is... Three hours later. Okay. My lipstick is Hermes. It's called Rose de Car number 59. I'm going to put this up. Maybe that'll help. Maybe you can see it better. Let me see if it's upside down. Can you see that? I don't even know if you can see that. This is just a um, clipboard because I think it'll... I feel like if you put this up, you can see things better. Um, this is what the top looks like. A lot of people have already seen this already. It's got the magnetic top. I've got a few of their lipsticks. Maybe I'll do a um, lipstick video. This is what the color looks like. Um, I mentioned on my last video that I like berry colors, raspberry and also red. And so that's what this is. I'm not going to go over everything I have on my face because most of this stuff is going to be repeat stuff all over again. But this is something different. Um... That I haven't shown before, so it's Rose Dakar, if I'm saying that right, by Hermes. This um, packaging, because it has the gold at the bottom, I'm assuming this is a permanent collection. That's what I hear, that if it's a, a different color at the bottom, then it could be something temporary or seasonal. I'm wearing my regular rings that I wear all the time. I talked about them in my last video. And let's get started with... Um, talking about the bag so I mentioned in my last video that um, when I wear my handbags if they match my outfit still I'll keep wearing it I won't change it out um, I only change it if I need to if it doesn't match or whatever um, and so I'm still wearing it because obviously it's I mean I don't care to mix my metals really um, it still has the silver hardware let me back up real quick so you can kind of see it better yeah, so this is the bag that I showed in my last video. It's called the Herbag Sip. So you got the clochette. This clochette is different from the clochettes on the regular. This is my Kelly, and the clochette is different. The keys are in there, but it's different. The lock on the bag is the same as the regular locks you get. 
what else it's canvas i talked about that before i said this is canvas this is leather um this one has a pocket on the back looks like that it does have a small h there on the back of the where the zipper is on the end of the zipper pull and then the zipper pull is leather the zipper is super easy and smooth um, inside of here I usually carry my phone and sometimes I wear my headphones um, and I'll pop that in there too if I'm wearing sunnies I'll put that in there too well no I don't no I don't but I usually put my phone in here and my headphones in here but this back pocket is convenient so if you want to um, have access to things you need you need to be able to get to it quickly without fooling with the front because a lot of people don't like the closure on this so if you want to get to your stuff quickly using this back pocket makes all the difference in the world um, this is what it looks like on the side this one is the cellier type of stitching where it's more structured this one is return so this one um, I think they said this one flips inside out when you um when they make it they make it and then they flip it inside out that one has a much more relaxed feel to it um i love the fact that it has palladium hardware because it adds to you know, the laid back casual vibe i would never wear that at night and i would never wear this one at night either um it does have the like i said in my last video it has the um enamel the black enamel on the hardware on the sides right here and then in the front and then on the side right here um, the handle is a very thick handle it's actually two pieces of leather and that's what it looks like the clochette is removable just like all of them you can unhook it and just take it off um, this is usually how I would carry the bag with it done up um, if I don't carry it like this then I just carry it open um, this strap here is a strap that I put on myself you can get these anywhere I mean they sell them at Amazon um, you can get them from Home Depot you can get them from Lowe's the, what I like about the Lowe's and the Home Depot ones I think the weight limit is like 175 pounds and each link is soldered so you don't have like that crack in between each one and it doesn't matter how much you stuff your bag this is not going to give out on you I thought I saw a string in there yeah I did okay it's not going to give out on you um and so that's what I like about it it's super casual I heard some people say this is like a poor man's Kelly if you can't afford a Kelly you can get this um I got this a few years ago and um when I got this on the I ordered it from the Hermes website and um they had put some information on uh, the website about this bag um, and it said that um, this is their own reissue of the Kelly bag so a spin on their own bag which a lot of people probably don't know that um, but yeah that's that was on the Hermes website um, talking about this bag when I bought it a few years ago um, they still sell the bag I waited a very long time for when I say a very long time I I think probably about three years for it to show up on the Hermes website and even if they had them in person which I would go into the store and see they had it in person they didn't have black so when it finally showed up on the website I got it and it was a little more I mentioned that in my last video because I believe it has the because it has a black enamel on it um, I love I mean I don't love I watch I am GPS I do love his channel and um, he mentioned that that um, this was a limited edition <clears throat> which I didn't know when I bought it but um, like I said I think it's because of the black enamel I think he said that I am GPS that um, it's because of um, the enamel in the harbor because I kept trying to figure out why is this why does this cost more than the other ones I didn't get it but that's why <clears throat> So anyways, um, this is a bag. I said I put this on myself. Um, the sides, I don't know which side because I haven't fooled with it in a long time, but one of these sides unscrew. And um, 
then it's like a whole bar that goes through so the whole bar comes out <clears throat> and the pieces of the bag is interchangeable so if you have another her bag zip you can mix and match and change it you can change the body of the bag you can change out the handle you can change out the strap obviously and um I think this whole leather top part comes out too. I think that can be changed out as well. Let me show you what the bag came with. Oh, and this is a size 35. No, it's not. It's a size 31. Yeah, this is called the Her Bag Zip in all black. So it's noir, noir, noir. That's for the black leather, the black canvas, the black enamel. Um, they do still sell these. Um, I don't know if they still sell it with the black enamel, but... I've seen it with like red enamel and different color enamels. It's pretty hard wearing. I don't have any, um, I don't believe I have any chipping or anything on my hardware. Let me see. Can you see that? Yeah. And then the back is just the plain, um, palladium plated hardware. I'm going to show you, like I said before, what's in my bag. But first, let me show you um, the strap that it came with. Because I put the strap on myself. Like I said, you just unscrew this one side. I don't know if it's this side or that side. But one of the sides unscrew and then you can pull it apart and put your own chain on. Or your own change out your pieces or whatever. Um, so this is the strap that it came with. And it's a thick piece of leather. Just like the handle. But the handle is two pieces of leather. So at the bottom, you can see it's one piece of leather. And at the top, you can see it's one piece of leather. Because the back side of the leather looks like this. Just like raw. Um, a lot of people don't like the strap because it's thick. I don't think they don't like it because it's thick. I think they don't like it because it's stiff. Um, but it will soften up with time and become very soft. I've had leather belts that are very stiff like this like one from Gucci specifically and one day I wind up showing it in the video in one of my videos but it's super stiff and I remember my husband and I we bought them both at the same time the exact same belt and I barely wear mine and he wears his every day just as a belt to hold up his pants not even for fashion and his is so supple and soft now I was like oh my god like I had no idea that it was going to get that soft um, it took some time but it, it wind up getting super soft and um, yeah, mine is still stiff and, and, and new because I've only worn it a handful of times. But that's what, um, let me hold this up and see. So this is what the hardware looks like for the straps. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is just a clipboard that I got at um, Staples. Because a lot of people use the back of their hand. But I think if you use something bigger, that it might be better so I figured I was like I'll just use this but this is a strap that it comes with this strap you um can like wear it crossbody but it's gonna come up kind of high on you like the handle will be way up here the strap that I put on is long enough for you to wear it over the shoulder and crossbody I'm not gonna do um, show how you can wear it because I showed it in my last video this is only my second video so it's not going to be hard to go back to the last video and see it another thing that this bag comes with is this little pouch kind of like what the Neverfulls come with but the Neverfull pouch is bigger I can do um, a comparison real quick let me grab it before I forget Oh, that is super bright. I think it's washing the light from the ring light. But this is the um, Neverfull pouch. I have a Neverfull GM and Dami Azor. And sometimes when I wear this, I wear it as a wristlet. Or sometimes I just hold it as a little clutch. Um, usually just in the summertime. But that's not what this is about. This is about this. So just to see a size comparison with the um, Neverfull one. Hopefully that's helping. So the Neverfull one is definitely bigger. 
um, it's canvas and the same type of leather that you have on um, the bag. Same palladium hardware. It's the same thing. You got the little H there at the end of the zipper. And the leather zipper pull is exactly the same, just like on the back of the bag. It's, um, I don't know, like a little diamond shape. And, um, yeah, I never use this. You could use it as a wallet inside the bag or kind of like a catch-all or something like that. But when you get into a habit of carrying your same SLGs from and just transferring them from bag to bag, when you have stuff like this, you don't really use it. Um, I said to myself that I was going to try to use it, especially like in the summertime because it's so small. So if you just need to grab a few items and go, this would be good. I've had this bag for years and never used this, so this is what it looks like on the inside. The zipper is smooth too. I don't know if I mentioned that on the bag, but the zipper is smooth. If you can, if you can zip the zipper with one finger, like it's getting stuck right there. I don't know why, but yeah, the zipper is pretty smooth. And then um, that's what it looks like on the inside. It's just super plain. It's just canvas, so the outside's canvas. The inside is canvas too. What's that? Looks like there's something in there. Oh, it's a tag. It just says Hermes. Oh, it says Paris with a little horse. And you probably can't see that. Um, but yeah, that's the pouch that it comes with. Uh, you'll see when I go inside the bag, I'll completely empty out the bag and show you that this pouch can attach to the inside of the bag. Um, with this so just like this has a little grommet right here the inside of the bag has a little grommet and you can attach it to the inside of the bag so it doesn't come out but that's what it looks like this is the little thing that's how you attach it on the inside of the bag so you would just um, I bend the leather It would not work when I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> yeah, so you bend it. I bend the leather because I don't know how else to do it. But you bend it. And then you can attach it inside the bag. And it, it will just be like this inside the bag zipped up. But I don't do it like that because like I said, I don't even... um. I don't use this. This shirt keeps like wrinkling. I don't... Maybe if I sit up, I'm always sitting like this. Like with bad posture. <laughs> That's horrible though. I'm trying to fix it. So here we go. That's that. It's really thin. But you could fit a lot of stuff in here though. I should do what fits. Oh, I'm looking down and you know what? I forgot to talk about, um, I talked about my lipstick and my jewelry, but I didn't talk about the perfume. I'm trying to incorporate that into my um my videos so this one is new for me um, i'm not new to chanel perfume but i'm new to gabrielle let me hold this up <laughs> and uh it smells pretty good i'm not good at naming like what it smells like or the notes that's in it then this is the um hand lotion I don't know if you can probably can't see it because um, the ring light is so bright and then the top just looks like that the top on the perfume yeah you probably can't see that the top on the perfume just looks like that I don't know what size this is because it doesn't say and I wasn't paying attention when I bought it. When I went in there, I bought it from um, Nordstrom. And I just asked for the perfume and what they have to go along with it. And then this is the cream. The hand cream. So this one's the body lotion. I showed this one already. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> this 
this is the hand cream. And this one is the... No, this one's the lotion. I'm getting myself confused. This one's the lotion. And this one's the hand cream. And it just looks like that on the top. It's similar to the number five. How you have the hand cream in a jar similar to this with the black top. And then the lotion, which is usually taller and slightly different design. It's more rectangle, like taller. And then the perfume. They didn't give me the scooper. It's supposed to have like a little scoop. Um, but it smells good though. So I like it. It's going to take me forever to use this. Up. Oh. But when I do, I'll buy it again. So that's that. So let's get into um, the... You can hear me just throwing this thing around. This little thing around. But anyway. Let's get into um, this bag and talk about what, what I have in my bag. And then also what the bag looks like on the inside. My hair is bothering me. So to get into the bag, which a lot of people don't like, but you have to pull these things open. It has a hole there. I don't know if that's, can you take the lock off the back and put it there? That you, you would, if you need to lock up your bag like that, maybe you shouldn't even be in the area that you're, where are you going where you need to actually lock your bag like that? I, that's the only thing that I could think of. Why would that, why do you need a hole there? But it's there, so I don't know. Some people wear it like this. Um, or they'll put the straps under the flap. Like that. I see a lot of people. Um, I can't say I see a lot of people wearing it because a lot of the stuff that we show here on YouTube. You see it on YouTube, but you don't see it in everyday life. Like, I've never seen anybody wear these earrings before. I've never seen anybody wear the sweater before. It's a sweatshirt. I've never seen anybody wear the sweatshirt before. And it's... I've had this for a few years, and I've never seen anybody in real life carry this bag. I've seen people do... Show their her bags online. Like, videos on YouTube. But I haven't seen anyone with one of any color. Um... In person so I know that people out there probably say well I want this or I want that but it's you see it everywhere and I'm like it's it's everywhere online not everywhere like in real life sometimes you do see stuff everywhere like the never fool and the um, speedy whether it's the bandolier which I have a few of the bandoliers or um, just the regular classic speedy um, the never fools you do see them everywhere but you see them everywhere because they're workhorses, because they are good bags. They stand up to wear and tear. They last time through the test of time. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really get discouraged when I see a lot of people wearing the same thing or using the same thing that I have, because that just goes to show the craftsmanship and quality of the product. And they love it for a reason. It's popular for a reason everybody wants the bag for a reason it's not just because of the way it looks it lasts for a long time and it does what it's supposed to do isn't that why you want to spend your money on something because it's going to last you and it's going to do what it's supposed to do um so yeah i don't get discouraged when i see people out with things that i have um but just because you don't see people with it it doesn't mean that it's not good just when you have a workhorse and it's a good bag and it's a classic of course you're going to see that more often I would say that this is a classic. I think they made this, um, they started making it in the 80s and I think they stopped and then they started it again. And so if they're going to stop making these again, I don't know, but I'm glad I got mine. I don't know if I want more. Um, I'm 44 years old and when I think about myself when I get older, um, this one... I mean, I'm not finished buying bags, obviously, but this one, I don't see myself wearing this when I get older because I think it's going to be way too heavy, whereas this is lightweight because it's a canvas bag, and you can wear it in the rain. Um, I wouldn't wear it out in, in a torrential rain pour, but, or a torrential downpour, I mean, but you can wear it in the rain, like a regular rain, 
and I think it'll be fine. I mean, yeah. So just thinking about it, like when you get older, um, you may not want a big, heavy leather bag. Like my Evelyn right there is, I think it's a size 33. Um, three, I think it's the third model. I think that's what it's called. Three and then the 33 or no. I don't know. It's it's the biggest one they make and it's the latest one. It, just this color. Um, that one I've had for a few years. It's in the sage green. Of course, whatever I measure, you know, it's not pronounced sage. I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to call it sage because that's what it is. But it's um, a bigger bag, you know? And when you think about when you get older, do you really want a bigger bag that's heavy? If you're spending your money on something, I would think that you want to be able to wear it as long as possible maybe even keep it forever and so this is one that i think i'll always keep because when i get older this is going to come in handy because it's very lightweight um I, i'll take this off when i turn older i'm not going to be carrying this but um, i'll just throw the regular strap back on it but yeah so let's go inside the bag um, and then i'll show you guys the inside of the bag when it's all empty before we do that um this hardware right here I keep looking at the time because uh, I don't want it to be too long but this hardware I mean this piece of hardware right here I try to put it back on but this piece of hardware right here if you see it has like a little lip thingy at the bottom and that's what keeps the top part down so you have to pull down on the top flap and then it'll come off it's a very thick piece of leather just like the handles and the strap that it came with and the clochette. The clochette is very sturdy and thick. Um, this is a different type of leather. It's got the veining in it. This one's thick too, but not as... Well, I don't know. Maybe this isn't as thicker. Now that I reach over there and touch that one, this one's thinner. But I mean, it's still the same type of leather. It's just a thinner piece of it. This is what it looks like on the back. So it's very different from the other clochettes that you get. It's still typical um, Hermes in terms of how they attach the keys to the clochette. Because you know with Hermes they don't do um, a piece of hardware to attach the keys. It's just going to be the keys looped onto the leather. Which is nice because it's not loud. It doesn't make noise. Um, so yeah, you still get the, the craftsmanship is still there. The quality and the craftsmanship is still there. Even if it didn't cost as much as that. Um, but yeah, so it's a thick piece of leather. It's just like the raw suede type of material on the back. When you open it, it's got this hardware here that you push in on that. And of course, like I said, it's that lip that's under there that's keeping it, making it stay. So let's go in the bag and I'll show you what's in my bag. Should I show you what's in my bag first or should I empty everything out? I'll, I'll, I'll show you what's in my bag first and then when it's empty I'll show you more of the inside of the bag. People usually do what's in my bag and they, they'll show the inside of the bag like that. Every time when I watch videos I think it'll be better if I go like this. You can kind of see what it looks like with my stuff inside of it. Fumbling around in there. But there you have it. So let's go inside and I'll show you what's in my bag. Oldie but goodie. I remember years ago, I'm fairly new to YouTube. I've been watching YouTube for a few years now. I used to love watching what's in my bag videos. I want to see what everybody have in their bag, what they're carrying around and why they're carrying it. So I'm going to do an oldie but goodie what's in my bag. First thing is this little pouch that I got from Chanel. Um, it's not the most glamorous thing. This came with like, I don't know, blush or eyeshadow or something. You get it when you buy stuff. They may have changed their packaging. Well, no, because I recently bought something. So um, I was looking over there at my vanity. But yeah, this is my pouch. And so what I carry in this is, um, I call it my little COVID pouch. I don't even know if we're able to, we could say that on YouTube, can't we? Anyways, that's what, I, that's what I call it because everything that's in here is what they tell us we have to have or we need. I already carried hand sanitizer with me already, but now I make my own um, just because I got to use it so much. And um, 
when you make your own you can um control what it smells like how strong it is blah 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 and i like to use um the spray because i feel like um it gets all in the cracks and crevices i usually spray each hand but it gets all in the cracks and crevices if you have long nails and it you know it just gets all up in everything whereas a hand sanitizer the regular like gel hand sanitizer um we use that too but i love to make my own and i like to um keep it in a spray bottle next is lotion um i went to the chanel counter i don't know a few months ago to get the um little egg one but i kept i'm in an awe and said, should i get this or should i not and i was like you know what? i'm just gonna go to bath and body and get this one maybe i'll try the chanel one eventually but i don't know this one is called oh the color is so washed out isn't it i don't know if that's helping but it's called well let me see what it's called white pumpkin chai chi chai i don't know i think it's called white pumpkin chai and it smells good i mean i don't want to walk around smelling like a pumpkin so it's not what it smells like but it does smell kind of very seasonal i would say that i mean it's mild it's not really strong or anything but that's what i keep in there and you have to have lotion because you keep hand sanitizing and everything you have to have lotion so and this little thing was only six dollars and fifty cents it was probably cheaper than that because i usually try to go only when they have a sale um i know i wear lotions and stuff like this you know um every day but um this one's cool just to keep in my bag and i don't want my hands to get dried out so yeah like i said i'll probably get the chanel one but when i was at the store i mean at Neem at nordstrom i don't know i just wasn't feeling it the last thing i have in this little pouch is my mask i have a ton of masks that i can change out um this one is the neoprene doshi and gabbana that's what it looks like it's just got the g, the g and the d's all over with the little heart and the chain is not for your mask is actually for your eye your sunglasses or your eyeglasses this i got from amazon um and so yeah that's what it looks like and i keep all that inside of here it just helps you get together keep your stuff together and neat and organized i don't want to go and buy something luxurious and high-end for this type of stuff so i just literally keep it in this little pouch right here Okay, so the next thing I have in here is what I'm using as my wallet. I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. Usually I only use cards. Sometimes I use cash. Depends on what I'm buying. But for the most part, if I could swipe a card, I'd rather just do that. This is um, obviously Louis Vuitton. This is a clay uh, empreinte leather and noir, just the black. I have a ton of clays um, because I love them as little mini wallets. I've had it for so many years and it still looks good. This one's my favorite. Out of all the clays that I have, this one's my favorite. Maybe one day I'll do like a little collection video. I know I don't know if these are really so popular, but um, I love it. I love using it as a wallet because all I really carry with me, like I said, is cards. But if you want to carry cat, uh, coins, you can put them back here. It's like the black wipeable lining. Um, I don't know if that's leather or not on the inside. It is leather on the inside here. Um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I don't know if you can see that. Is it showing up better? And then I just have a few um, cards in there. You could fit a ton of stuff. I don't want to show my information, but you could fit a ton of stuff. I've got some pa some receipts in there. And then um, my cards. I've got five cards in here and a few pieces of paper that's folded up. A few receipts that's folded up. And you got plenty of room. In here is the um, key holder. A lot of people already know about this. It just lifts up and then pulls out. Oh, that's the back of it. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if this thing is working because I can't even see what I'm doing. I used to um, 
put my car key fob on here, but the key fob that I'm that I have, it doesn't fit. Does it fit? Actually, I don't know. Maybe I didn't even try it, but yeah. Sometimes um I put my keys inside of here even though I'm using it as a wallet. Um it can still fit your keys and everything else. Even when you have change, I mean cash, you can still fold it up and put your keys in there. Um, and then your key fob could just hang on that outside and then that's your wallet and your keys all in one thing if you want to I love clays they're so versatile you can use it for a bunch of different stuff but I usually use mine for wallet and sometimes I use it for wallet and keys next is my toiletry no this ain't a toiletry this is a cosmetic pouch this is a cosmetic PM I fought myself so hard not to buy this because like I've had it for a few years now but I remember I was like I don't need that I don't I don't really carry a lot of makeup what do I need a cosmetic pouch for I don't need a cosmetic pouch and then when I finally got it I was like I needed this the whole time <laughs> so that's what it looks like it's the PM and I'll go over what I have inside of here this is what it looks like on the inside I think it's better when you put it on the side like I said even the handbag instead of trying to show it like this I, for some reason I think you can see more when you go like this so the first thing is the um, double fastest mirror from Chanel uh, the next thing is a travel size no it's not a travel size when you buy stuff from Chanel they'll give you samples or I don't know like Neiman Marcus or something and you, they give you a little sample so this is just a, a miniature little sample size of mascara I have so many of these but yeah that's what that is just in case if you want to add some mascara or you forget to put on your mascara or whatever um, now this is empty it's wipeable lining we all know what that looks like but here's the mirror I'm gonna put it back and I keep it in this little pocket right here My favorite, 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 Carmex. I have a ton of lippies. Lip glosses, lip balms, lipsticks, mattes, whatever. Liquid lipsticks. But this is my favorite. Not because it's cherry. I just like the regular one. But I have so many of them that this one that I have in my bag just happens to be cherry. Um, I have these everywhere. On my nightstand. I keep one in my bag. On my vanity. In my closet. I just keep it everywhere. It's like, why would you need lip balm in your closet? <laughs> I don't know. In case my lips are dry, I can just, ch -ch -ch and just set it down. This is my favorite lipstick for wintertime. It's Burberry. It's a liquid um, matte lipstick. You know, I think I had this one in my last video, I think. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. But whatever. It's a liquid matte lipstick. I like this so much, I bought three of them. And it's a like a burgundy color. But I love it because it's liquid matte, but it doesn't dry out your lips. And I love the color for fall and winter. Even in the, in the spring, summer, but at night, it's still like good. The next one is Je ne sais quoi by It Cosmetics. This is the lip gloss. They both do the same thing. So basically what they do is um, hydrate. It hydrates your lips. It's almost gone, but I have a bunch of these too. It's a lip balm. So it's It Cosmetics. It's called Je ne sais quoi. It um, hydrates your lips. It stains your lips. Um, like your lips but better. Like the color. It's like your lips but better. So it gives your lips color like um, I don't know. Like a raspberry fuchsia type of color, but not bright. So... It's just a lip balm with a tint of color, but the color is buildable. So as you put it on and reapply it, um, the color just builds. And when you wipe it off and everything, it, the color is still there. So it, it permeates. It stains the lips, which is good. It doesn't dry out your lips. Um, but I still like the Carmex better because it's thicker, it's heavier. And I feel like it hydrates my lips better. But this one is good if you just get tired of the Carmex and you don't want to wear that anymore. I, I have the um, Dior, what is it called? Dior Lip Glow. I have a few of those too, but Dior Lip Glow, even though it gives your lips color like this one does, 
it's does the Dior lip glow it doesn't stain and the color is not buildable where this one is I'm looking at the time it looks like this is gonna be a lengthy video but that's okay so that's what this is and then this one does the same the exact same thing this is a lip gloss so you can wear this one by itself it's glossier you can do this one you can put this one on and then top it off with something glossy maybe one day in a video I'll wear it and you can see what it looks like but um yeah I usually keep those in here so what I have in here is what I always keep in here if it wasn't um, fall winter I wouldn't have this one in here and I just have whatever lippy that I'm wearing like I said this one I'm wearing the Hermes um, one today so it would be looking like that I really don't care carry a lot with me um, even if I left this on my vanity and forgot to bring it home I mean bring it home <laughs> even if I left this on my vanity and didn't um, forgot to bring it with me because there's been times when I went somewhere and forgot my lippy and I was just like oh my gosh I don't have anything to put on my lips to reapply that's why I always make sure I keep some with me so that's what that looks like and then like I said this one stays in my bag throughout the fall and winter I got two more that are on my my vanity and that's that um the next thing I have in here are my keys. Everybody, well, I'm not going to say everybody, but most people know what this is. It's a six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. I've had it for several years. Um, I've had a few of these. One of them I gave to my husband, which was in the Daumier Graphite or Graphite. And then I have one that's Black Epi. Because I can wear it with my black epi leather bag. Even one of these I have that's black epi. Um, and then I wear it as a wallet when I wear that bag. Um, some of these I have in... Well, I'm not going to talk about it, but whatever. So anyway, so here's my keys. I've got my initials here. I don't mind hot stamping this stuff. Um, if y'all can see behind me, I have the um, luggage tags on some of my bags. And they're all hot stamped. I get the same. My initials. And then these are my house keys. Um, yeah, we have a lot of doors at my house, so um, there's a lot of keys. So I don't get confused. I just take nail polish and I um, go over it, like just swipe it really quick. And then I swipe the other side too. Um, so I know which room, what door, you know, this key is. these keys are for because they're kind of color coded. Instead of buying keys that look different or buying things that go on the keys why when I can just and it lasts like it doesn't scratch or come off or anything like that um, so yeah that's that's my way of being able to um, identify what key goes to what next is my key fob for my car um, I bought this chain from Amazon um, and then I just attached it here on the little, it doesn't have like Louis Vuitton or anything on the keychain, even though it looks like the Louis Vuitton hooks on the little clasp part. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, but this, this, usually I would put my key inside of here, but if I did that, it's going to, um, it's going to hang down too low because if I put this in here it'll probably come down probably like about right there and then when I close it if I was to close it out look at that it sticks out and that's ugly plus it would be like it would make it so bulky so I had to find something to put on my keys and I wanted something that's going to make it easy for me to pull my key out um, so I, I bought the chain from Amazon and then this I just bought from the um dealership I don't know if you can see that it's just like a little badge a little keychain type of thing and yeah these are my keys um, I love the chain detail the chain detail it just makes it so easy just to pull your keys out of your bag instead of just having this one just floating around before I had the I don't know what this is called but before I had this added on on here Without the chain, I just had it connected like that. 
I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but I had it like that. But then it sucks because it's like this round part, if the key is flat, then the round part just sticks up. And if this is flat, then the key just sticks up like that. So I was like, no, I don't like that. So this makes it a lot easier because then they just can lay flat. It actually takes up less space like that, even though it, um, even though it's on a chain. So it allows it kind of just to lay flat in your bag. And like I said, it makes it easy just to pull it out of your bag. Next, I'm going to talk about my sunglasses. On my next one, I'll do, um, on my next one, I'm going to do a um, sunglass, sunglass collection video. Um, but today I'm just doing, showing the bag in detail and then doing a what's in my bag. But in here I have um, Burberry sunglasses. Um, they're black with, well, how can I explain it? It's like a gunmetal. And then this part is like rubber around the, is it rubber? I don't know. Maybe it's just some black plastic. I thought it was rubber, but I'm not sure. And then on the sides, it just has the regular Burberry. I also have the same pair in gold. So everything that's black or gunmetal, I mean, is the gold on the other ones. And then everything that's black is like brown. But I'll show it in my, um in my next video but this is what they look like aviators I think they look good on everybody that was messed up my hair aviators um, I think look good on every face every sh face shape um, yeah I have astigmatism I actually wear glasses um, I hate wearing glasses but I do and so sometimes, depending on how the light enters my eye, it makes it hard to see. So aviators aren't the easiest thing, easiest sunglasses for me to wear. Um, they still serve the purpose and protect your sun from the eyes or whatever, your, your eyes from the sun. But um, yeah, whatever. They're aviators. I love them. I think they look good on everybody. But sometimes there's a glare from the light that bothers me. Okay, so the next thing is my toiletry. What is this? The toiletry 15. I'm fixing my, my earring. These earrings are huge, BSM, by the way. Um, this is my toiletry 15. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's the 19. And then there's the 26. This is also a 26. I don't know if this one's meant to be worn like a clutch because the interior... Is the same interior like the Neverfulls, whereas we know the one on the inside is like wipeable, and it's raffia. So I got the raffia with the navy blue on this one, and then this one's just the regular. Both of these are the size 26. This is the 19, and then this one here is the 15. This one I use the most because I keep it in my bag, and I keep toiletries. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm not going to pull everything out one by one and show you, but I'll kind of talk about what I have. So this is the allerg allergy medicine right here. It's on Claritin. And then there's band-aids. The packages is all, like, the packaging is kind of bent up. It's been in there for so long, but band-aids. And it's not even that I um, need them for when, if I cut myself or something. I usually use these for shoes. Like, if my shoes start to hurt my feet or you get blisters or it's rubbing or something like that then you can just put the band-aids on it that's why I always have two um, hair ties I have some gum in here um, some perfume this is Le Panther a little sample from Cartier um, this little one is Tom Ford Rose Prick I do have the bigger bottle um, no I don't I have the atomizer of Rose Prick I don't have the bigger bottle um, I bought this thing from Tom Ford it was like a little like a little sample so you can get like I don't know I think it had like six or seven little ones inside and you, it's a great way to like try out different fragrances I have a few fragrances from them already some of my favorites but this is called rose prick. I don't, I'm gonna be honest rose prick sound it sounds like it would smell good it smells like grandma rose <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie, this smells like an old lady. That's why I only have it in the atomizer and I never bought the full bottle. I'm trying to hurry up and use that as fast as I can because I do not like the way that smells. But it'll work if you left your perfume at home and you need something, then you could put this on. But this definitely wouldn't be the first, first thing that I go for. Um, yeah, because it smells like Grandma Rose. There's fingernail clippers in here. Um, tweezers. These little clips. I'm using these little clips to hold my hair up right now. It's just clipped up um, in these little, the same type of little clips. Um, what else do I have in here? Headache medicine. More hair ties in the little clip. A little, it snaps like that. Um, I have some bobby pins down in there. Another little sample. I don't know what this is because it just says Nordstrom on it. Oh, <laughs> This is Gabrielle. When I went in there to get a sample, wind up liking it, and then I, like I said, I bought the full thing. Um, yeah, but just a bunch of toiletries and stuff like that. That's it. I mean, it's a toiletry pouch. That's what I use it for. Just because that's what it is, that's not necessarily how I use it, but I literally use this as a toiletry pouch. And, um... The toiletry 19 and the toiletry 26, I use those as toiletry pouches too. Like when I travel, if I'm carrying a big tote and I'm going to be gone for the day or even just the weekend, I'll carry that one. And traveling for longer, I'll carry the monogram 26. What I like about the 26 size is you can wear it as a clutch. I've heard some people say, oh my God, don't carry that. Um, it's, a it's not a clutch. It's a toiletry pouch. You're not supposed to use it as a clutch. Well, I do have a clutch here in Monogram, and this one carries a lot less than that. And to be honest, if Princess Diana carried it, and it was okay for her to use it, or to be photographed, it appears as if she was carrying it like a clutch, then girl's good enough for me. If it was good enough for the princess, then it's good enough for me, okay? So yes, I do be carrying both these mofos as clutches when I want, okay? There's my Monogram clutch right there. I've got quite a few clutches. I could do a clutch collection video actually, but there's my monogram next to the Dionysus right here. But these two right here, they hold so much more. So, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even remember who said that, but somebody on YouTube was like, don't be using the clutch. Don't be using the toiletry for a clutch. I was like, girl, you better get out of here. Go sit down. <laughs> Just play. No, I'm not. Okay, so here is the last thing I have in my bag, and then I'll show you what the bag looks like on the inside. This is um, the mini pochette. This is the only mini pochette that I have. Um, yeah. Nothing that I've shown you guys are new. The newest thing are these sunnies that I got from Burberry, and I got these a few months ago from Neiman Marcus. Everything else, I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, everything else I have for a long time. The only other new stuff is the, the Gabrielle stuff that I showed you. Everything else I've had for a long time. So this one is no different. I've had it for a long time. Um, this you can pretty much use to put whatever you want. I'll show you guys what I have in mind. If my bag allows me, I carry this with me. Um, let me kind of move the bag out of the way real quick. And so, the first thing that I have in here is a flashlight. Let me see. Can you see the light? Yeah. Flashlight. Um, we go camping and out to rural areas and stuff like that. And sometimes we're out there even at night. And, um, yeah. I'll be needing my flashlight. The next one is my trailer keys. I talked about going camping. We have a travel trailer. Um, it is, um, by Grand Design. It's called the, let me see if I can remember what it's called. It's called the Momentum 25G. It's a toy hauler, um, travel trailer. So if y'all into camping and being out on your trailer and stuff like that, this channel is, um, luxury lifestyle and fashion. So with the lifestyle part, I'll get more into, um, <clears throat> see like pieces of dust flying around. I'll get more into, um, 
sharing more of my life in terms of um, what I'm doing, what I like to do, my hobbies and all this other stuff, not just fashion and luxury stuff. But yeah, these are my trailer keys. I keep them inside of here because what else am I going to do? Oh, and I put the, because I don't want them to be scratch up my bag, but I keep them um, on just a little string. I just have a string and I cut it so it doesn't take up much room in here with the other stuff that I carry. And so these are my trailer keys because I like nature. I like being out and about. I like going to the rural areas. Um, and you'll see more of that. Um, sometimes I'll do vlogs and I won't be wearing makeup. I will, I'll be in sweats or something like that. And we'll be out on our little trailer and I'll be doing videos on my little travel trailer. But yeah, it's a 2021. We bought it in the summer of 2020. So grand design. Um, I want to say it's a 25G, 2021 model 25G toy hauler. Um, anybody can look it up and see, um, what they look like. You'll see what it looks like in my video. The next one I keep in a pouch just so these two keys aren't, um, mixed up. This one is my, um, boat keys. It's very, um, wait, this has private information, so I can't show that part, but it's very chunky because this right here, well, this is like, first of all, this is like AAA. So, um, it's for AAA on the water. So if you ever need help and you need to be towed or whatever the case may be, then you got your, um, information back there. But, um, you need, for those people who have boats, you know that you need, um, something that's going to float. So if your keys fall, they don't just fall to the bottom of the water, they'll float. So that's why the key fob or this key thing here is on here and they got so many different things that you can buy for your boats your little key fobs um is this called a key fob i don't know what it is but anyways it floats and that's the whole point so if you drop your keys in the water um they don't just sink to the bottom and then this is the key fob to buzz in and out of um the gate because it's secure so you have to buzz in and out the gate you got to buzz in and out of the door to go um, down to the marina to your boat um, the other keys are just keys to the boat we have a 32 footer for those of you guys who know about boats um, 32 feet it's 32 footer and then we got um, this is a three or five I think it's a three foot swim platform on the back um, which makes getting on and off of it super easy and then you can sit out there and barbecue you know there's a grill and all that other stuff on there so um it's a certified yacht i love it a lot we've had it for years and that's my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world is be out there on the water dropping my anchor and chilling sometimes we could spend the week out there or the weekend out there a month out there if you want to or whatever but that's what this is and um these are the keys so you've got two engines you got the cabin down below and um yeah, all these keys are just for the boat. And like I said, you've got your um, insurance card, the buzz thing, the buzz in and out of the gate, and to get in and out of the gate that you walk through to walk down to your boat. And then this is the key fob so that it doesn't um, sink when you, if you drop your stuff in the water. Um, I mentioned I'm going to do a sunglass collection video in my next video. There's all kind of um, sunglasses from the cheap ones. Well, cheap and cheerful. That's what I like to say, cheap and cheerful. So I got some cheap and cheerful ones. Um, I like to use the cheap and cheerful ones when I'm out there on the water in case I drop my glasses in the water, my sunglasses in the water. I don't want to have to worry about, oh my God, my sunglasses, you know. So I like to have the cheap and cheerful sunglasses when I'm out there on the water because of that. In case I drop it in the water and it goes down to the bottom, I ain't jumping in. I don't care how much they cost. Them things are just going to be at the bottom of the water because I'll be looking over the side of the boat like, mm. <laughs> well, so much for that. So I, I use the cheaper sunglasses for that. But on my next video, I'm going to show, um, there's a mixture. There's some from Amazon. There's some from luxury brands. And um, yeah, hopefully y'all like that video, but that's what's going to be next. So the flashlight, the boat keys, and the trailer keys. That's what I keep inside of here. 
And I know you're probably like, oh, and then this is what it looks like on the inside, just a brown canvas. I know you're probably like, well, why are you taking that with you every day? Because you never know when you wind up at the marina. Where I live, it's sunny for, for the most part all year. And, um, like I said, it's not, um, like a little fisher boat or a pontoon or something like that. You can, some people live on their boats, um, and, um, it doesn't have to be, it could be raining and you can still be out there. It could be sunny. It doesn't matter. And so when my husband and I are out and about, you never know when we'll stop and, um, go out there and hang out on the water for a few hours and then come home if we have the time. Um. And so, yeah, I just keep it all in here. If my bag is big enough. If it's not and I need something out of here, then I'll just throw it in my smaller bag. I'm pretty sure there's going to be other bags I'll throw what's in my bag. Especially like the smaller bags so you can see what I do and how I downsize all my stuff. And you know, some of us have to Tetris our stuff in because the bags are so small. Um, yeah. So this is what it looks like on the inside, completely empty. And this is the little um, part, you can see the little grommet here, where you attach this. So like I said, you would pull this part out, this leather part out, just like it's attached in here. You would pull that part out and then it goes inside of here so that's it that's it that's all that's everything that was in my bag that's it for this video i hope you guys liked it um comment subscribe what else are you supposed to say hit the notification bell give me a thumbs up if you like the video like Cassie's dad says in her videos, if you like it, tell a friend. If you don't, keep your mouth shut. I'm not going to be saying that, but I love Cassie. So I'll be watching her videos too. Yes, I said be. I be watching her videos too. So that's it. Bye.